Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you know who this is, put your answer in the comments below the video. If you don't know who it is, ask a question. Yes, no questions. As many yeses as you like, but five no's and you're done. No more questions for you. You'll have to wait until tomorrow. And if nobody has answered correctly, then I will make another video with a hint. And, well, you can have another go. So, in our last competition, what is this? Well, we had many sort of responses of a different nature to this. Um, I looked it up and it was a, it's a hair cooling tong warmer. Antique, of course, from um, there, and I, I'm pretty sure you you hook it up to the gas and it heats up the hair curling tongs. However, Moss, Moz was able to find a reference to it be used for heating up a flat iron. And, well, Tartan Snowflake believed that it could well be used for making s'mores. However, after a little bit of healthy to and froing and banter, Joel Witzel came through with the uh, correct, what I believe to be the correct answer. And, well, everyone else, I guess, in some way, shape, or form, concurred with that. So the points go to Joel. First time on the uh, where, what, who table. And after one hint, nine points. That gives him a total all-time where, what, who score of nine. So firstly, welcome, Joel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And hopefully we'll see you again. This might be the first of many. We look forward to hearing from you. So thanks to everybody for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. I certainly appreciate your support of the Where What Who channel. I look forward to seeing you again, hopefully tomorrow, but if not, whenever you're free to come by. All good. Cheers. See you. That's all, folks. This has been a Mario presentation. Recorded live in our studio at Narawahia. Capital of the Waikato District, a district towards the top of the North Island of Aotearoa, New Zealand, the land of the long white cloud. We're a little country right at the bottom of the globe, a place where Kiwis live in a paradise we like to call God's own country.